Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review of Doctor Strange issue 12, and I really like this issue. Jason Aaron's been doing a really good job with Doctor Strange lately, and really kind of moving everything forward. So, this one we get kind of two main parts. The beginning part shows us more of the creature from the cellar, the kind of misery creature entity, and it's pretty much trying to feed itself because since it was pretty much a repository for the balancing out of Doctor Strange's uh, positive contributions, he needs negative things, and he feeds off misery. So he's trying to inflict misery on all these people in a hospital. So Strange shows up and kind of like says, okay, you know what? It's me. I'm the one that you want. And if you're hungry, you're going to have to do your stuff to me. I'm not going to do it for you. And then he's like talking with Strange, it's a really kind of cool setup for a new villain for his rogues gallery, and we finally get the name for him as Mr. Misery, since he's Dr. Strange, and I'm like, it's pretty cool, it's a good job with that, I'm interested to see what else they're going to be doing with this since Dr. Strange is able to escape, so Dr. Strange heads to the bar, kind of looking at his wounds, figuring out what's going on, and Barkey tells him that Bear Mordo was going to see him soon because he showed up in the bar at one point. It's like, oh, yes. Bear Mordo and Dormammu. Big Doctor Strange villains. And it's like, yes. And we get kind of more backstory and Doctor, Str uh, Doctor Strange's kind of views on Bear Mordo as he just walks in to a place and pretty much takes an apartment from some people. And talking about how he would have been Baron Mordo, save for the grace of the Ancient One. He was consumed with greed and envy and being very lonely. And he had kept one of the people from the apartment, and Dormammu pretty much possesses her, and is like asking what the hell he's doing and to do what he is commanded to do. And it's interesting because since the Empiricruel had messed with magic, Baron Mordo and Dormammu look to be at pretty much height-wise power. They don't look to be as effective, so it's going to be really kind of exciting to understand how they've done that and what those implications mean. So, pretty much Doctor Strange is in his sanctum and be like, okay, we got to find Baron Mordo. And then what happens? Baron Mordo shows up at his door, so they start getting into the fight thing, and I really liked in this scene, there's this old guy's like these freaking hipsters dressing up like druids, and it's like, there you go. So, they're doing this battle, and Strange has this uh, cloak of protection. And Mary Mordo is kind of like really just let down that this was the pitiful amount of magic that Strange had left. So he threw this apple at him, and it turned into the stream. He's like, what the hell is going on? And then he's like, protection mode cloak. And it like did, and he's like, okay, okay, I'm good. Um, let me out. And then it kind of... Well, we don't know if it was the cloak itself or something else because he got sucked down and Baron Mordo's like, dang it. And this other entity that I'm not really familiar with. I mean, I'm kind of familiar with Strange's World, but this looks like to be some dude because it was referenced like Tuesday Nightmares or whatnot. And it's like, okay, so is this like a dude who's like a Lord of Dreams or Nightmares or something? Because he's pretty big and he looked to be pretty powerful to be able to summon Strange like that. And I'm kind of... I really want to know what's going on with that, and where that's going to be going with Strange trying to pretty much readjust the magic and see what's going on with magic. So this is a pretty good new chapter that Aaron's starting with what he's done from Imperial Cruel to breaking down kind of Strange and his magic and seeing who he is to now we're going to be like building up and kind of seeing how his rogues gallery is going to either be coming after him or how he might have to team up with them to try and reinvigorate magic. So, those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.